My relationship with Northern Nevada starts almost 50 years ago. I feel like my roots in Nevada go pretty deep. I was the president and CEO, the only president and CEO of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Northern Nevada. We focused on were Hispanic business interests and the growth and development of Hispanic business interests. When we put the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce on Wells Avenue, because that was our predominant Hispanic business district, it was clear that something was going to have to be done with the roadway. It was very dangerous, the sidewalks were falling apart, and the community, the city, the community as a whole started talking about what we were going to do with Wells Avenue. When we got to the Senate offices, it was a big deal for us as Hispanics to be invited in. We were pretty well awestruck, and Senator Reed was so gracious. He heard us out, asked a couple questions, turned to his staff and said, please put in a grant for half a million dollars to go to Wells Avenue. We almost fell out of our chairs. <laughs> He's not a politician who just deals with his buddies in Washington, D.C. He's actually come down and walked the walk with us on Wells Avenue. He's met our business owners. He's been in their stores. He's listened to their stories. The difference with Senator Reid is he acts on it. He knows who our people are. Not everybody pays attention to our Hispanic community or counts it for anything. I want Senator Reid to stay in the Senate.